One week after President Bola Tinubu announced the removal of fuel subsidy payment, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, in the federal February 25 uh, presidential election, Peter Obi, has broken his silence on the much-criticized move. He said rather than go through a forceful removal, he would have provided various relieving policies to cushion the effect of subsidy removal. Obi spoke with judicial correspondents at the Court of Appeal, venue of the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, on Tuesday. Right from the time I was a member of Jonathan's economic management team, I have consistently maintained that we need to remove subsidy. Because for me, it's organized crime. People were just stealing the resources of the country. And that crime has to stop. And I showed my own position in empirical data to show that the amount of fuel we consume is totally far ahead what we're supposed to consume. I showed it in data comparing with countries like Pakistan. And it's very clear. So I maintained about this removal. The difference is that I believe it should be removed with conditions, and that condition has to be applied. If I was involved, I would have shown in empirical statistical data how much we are going to save, where we are going to apply it, the gains for the people, so they can, just like I said all throughout my campaign. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.